And I have to admit, it's been an adjustment. Throughout the transition, I have noticed a few things happen. Frustration has begun to set in. Doubt has shown up. Quitting has even been an option for some of us. But what we have to understand that God has already given us everything that we need to make it through this transition. Amen. This morning, I want to talk to you from the subject of you have what it takes to endure. I'm going to deal with three points on this morning. My first point is you must fight through the doubt. My second point is you must push through the frustration. And my third point, and it's a simple point, you must never give up. Come on, come on now. In life, you're going to face some stressful situations. It can be health, financial, marital, even social. What, you, what we come to realize is these set situations have not come to kill us, but yet to build us up. Uh -huh. The word endurance is defined as the power to withstand pain or hardship, the ability or strength to continue despite fatigue, stress, or adverse conditions. All right, now. There are going to be some times where you are stressed out. Amen. You will begin to doubt yourself and uh -huh. your abilities. Life will begin to throw you some curves. Work will become more stressful. School will become more harder. Money will run out. Yes, sir. Kids will get on your nerves. Uh -huh. You will even look at yourself differently. And all these things can begin to make you doubt yes, sir. yourself Amen. and your situation. Yes, sir. On this past week, I took, I took a PTO day. I decided to stay home Monday, just rest, take some time. Work on work on the message a little bit. Just thought I'm gonna have a relaxing day. <laughs> of course. You too. <laughs> of course. That, that didn't work out as well. Yes, sir. Well, my wife was actually taking an exam that day for a subject that she had been struggling with. And I didn't realize that that was all going to be going on on that day. Well, well, as we're sitting in the living room and we're, we're, we're talking, I'm trying to prepare myself. She's over there. She's on, a, on her own tablet and she's doing her, doing her work and she's taking an exam. I heard four words from her. I passed my exam. All right. Well, amen. Yes. Yes. She made a 90 on that exam, which was really good. Oh, hey, girl. Yeah. Right. It's after usually when she takes these exams, she will usually call her school counselors because she took, she's doing online classes to see what her next step is and what she has to do to work through this process of going through school. Well, during this time, she received some news from the counselor that she didn't agree. And the kind of, that smile she had kind of, because she found out that the class she was taking, she was two points away from passing the class in hope. Well, at that point when I looked at her, only thing I saw on her face was disappointment and hurt. Because I know I've seen her daily working hard, doing what she can do, up three, four hours at night, working, doing work, studying, writing, taking notes. And she's putting in the work to get this done. Well, <coughs> as we're talking, she makes the, makes the statement. I quit. I'm giving up. Not, not doing this. Anymore. I've been trying this too long. Not doing. It. I'm calling the school. I said, and me, I'm trying to encourage her and talk to her. That wasn't getting through. 
But she began doubting herself. When you allow doubt to set in, you begin to second guess who you are and your abilities. Amen. You must push through the doubt. James 1 and 7 says, But let him act in faith with no doubting, for no one doubts, for one who doubts is like a wave of the sea that is driven, tossed by the wind. The way to fight, the way to fight through doubt is by having faith. Amen. Faith is the antidote to doubt. When you have faith in God, you believe that all things will work out in your favor. Well, Amen. Faith helps build your endurance. William Barclays wrote a quote, and he said, Endurance is not just the ability to bear a hard thing, but to turn it into glory. Your faith can get you through any situation that you are doubting. Jesus even taught us that all things are possible to those who have faith in Matthew 17 and 20. So when you begin to see doubt, when you begin to start to get down and doubt your abilities, have faith. Don't give up. Number two, in this life you're going to, try, you're going to go through things and you're going to try to accomplish things in life, but there are times you're going to get frustrated. Amen, sir. Yes, sir. There are some things that are just going to frustrate you mm-hmm. to the point to where you'll feel like she did when you want to give up. Amen. As I stated in my opening, two of my sons are doing spring training in football. Spring training in football <laughs> is different from a regular practice. Amen, sir. Yes, sir. During this time, this is more conditioning. They're running, doing more push-ups, things that are getting their bodies prepared to endure the season that they have coming to them. Well, my two boys are not accustomed to this. <laughs> this. This is not something that they're used to doing. Wow. Yeah. So, usually I'm at the practices with them. And Elijah and Jeremiah, they're usually good at practice that run. You, you see they, they start tired. Well, this one particular day, I'm saying, with this team, they're in a league. So during spring training, they're not practicing just with their team. They're practicing with every team that's in this league. Uh-huh. Well, on the field, they have a thing that when one messes up, everyone starts over. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I'm watching this practice, and I'm watching all the older boys and the older guys on the team. They're, they're running. They're tired. They, they, they're about giving it their all. And Elijah looks up at me, and he walks over. He says, Dad, I quit. He says, I don't understand why I have to go through this while I'm doing this for somebody else messing up. Come on, sir. He says, I'm quitting. I'm done. Well, when he decided to quit, once again, being the dad, stepped in, son, you can't quit. You can't give up. This is part of this part condition. You gotta work out. You gotta do it. Well, he said, no, I'm done. When I when I looked at how frustrated he was, I kind of got upset. But I was more worried because I believe if I allow him to quit now, he's going to continue to quit everything he's doing. If you allow frustration to set in, set in, frustra- um, frustration will keep you, make you give up on the things that you want to do in life. Amen. Frustration is the enemy to your purpose. However, a prayer will eliminate your frustration. 
Proverbs 3, 5 and 6 says, Trust in the Lord with, with all your heart and do not lean to your own understanding. Uh -huh. In all your ways acknowledge him and he will make your path straight. Uh -huh. when, you get, when you begin to get frustrated, give it to God. He's the only one that can deal with your frustration. Amen. And deal with it accordingly. As I as I look as I looked at him, and I can all I can tell him is, son, pray. Believe in Philippians four thirteen. You know what we what we what I talked about before. He began to step in, and he began to finish on that day. He allowed this frustration to be calm. My third point is never give up. If you, I just gave you all to what Elijah did, but I never gave you all the answer to what my wife did. See, what she went through and what she what she was doing, she ended up not only find, find, talking to this counselor, finding out that there was a another way she could pass this course. But she accepted the responsibility that she had because she knew she wants to finish. That's good. The thing about it is when you're going through, you must never give up. Amen. You gotta push through. When you're going through a hard situation, giving up is not, not an option. Amen. This is the time you must increase your endurance. Amen. This is not the time for you to throw in the towel. Well. This is not, you're going to have to fight through your doubts. Amen. You're going to have to fight through your frustrations. Uh -huh. You're going to have to fight through your pain. Amen. Trouble don't last always. Come on, sir. You can make it. Uh -huh. You can overcome it. You have what it takes to endure. I teach all the kids when I'm when I'm working with them. The first scripture I teach them is Philippians 4:13, uh -huh. and it says, "I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me." Uh -huh. One of the things I always tell them is, "Take can't out your vocabulary." Okay, that's good. Because when you continuously use "I can't." You start to eliminate the things you can do. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So as I'm coming to my close, and I must go back to the text, because we've been taught that all good preaching must go back to the text. Yes, sir. Amen. Ecclesiastes 9:11. Red, the race is not given to the swift nor the battle to the strong. You don't have to, you don't have to be the fastest one in the race. You just gotta keep going. You don't have to be the fastest one in the race. Keep going. Endure. Endure hardship. It's gonna come. You're gonna have hardship. You're gonna have disappointments. You're gonna have frustrations. You're gonna you're gonna experience doubt. But we also learn in Romans 5 and 7, we can rejoice when we run into problems and trials. For we know that they develop endurance. And endurance develops strength, character, and character strengthens our confidence and hope in salvation. So on this morning, you have what it takes to endure. Go through the process. Fight through. Yes, and I'll come to you. Fight through. Fight through the process. Yes. No one said life was going to be easy. All right. All right. Amen. No one said you would not experience trouble. But we do know trouble don't last always. Yes, 
on this morning, please stand. On this morning, if you've been facing situations, if you've been going through situations in your life, and you don't know how you're going to make it through, I just want to ask the intercessors to come down. And we're just going to pray with you on this morning. We're just going to pray with you on this morning.